Hi, my name is Kathy Millett and this week it's five minute backdrops. Why backdrops? Well, they make an amazing difference. Look what just adding a backdrop or even taking it outside does to this simple diorama. But they don't just cut out clutter, they also add the rest of the world behind our layout of diorama. Whether that's rolling hills or just a bit of sky. These are a few of the backdrops on display at Worley 2017. I did the show video so I've got plenty of examples. There are two main ways to produce a backdrop. You can paint it or you can print it. This one's painted using colour match paint from a DIY store. I took in a photo, they match the paint exactly. This section of my layer has exactly the same paint colour, but between the scenery and that backdrop, I've added a commercial photo. It's just a printed backdrop of an area that fits my layout. If you can't find a commercial product that suits, you can make your own. This is produced from a series of photos that you can lowell and it surrounds and I photoshop them together to give this. I cut it out and just glued it in place on a bit of card. But backdrops aren't just sky and photos. This was a mock-up for a 3D forced perspective backdrop that I did from Main Seaport. But here's the real thing on the Great Model Railway Challenge, the Missenden Modellers Ealing Road. Now it might have got a lot of flack, but it shows how you can take a large building at the front, shrink it in size through card models, use a photo backdrop that also forces the same perspective, followed by a printed sky absolutely shows that a backdrop isn't just a flat bit of paper. So the theory, blue is darker at the top and lighter at the bottom on a sky. It's the same on every sky. Sometimes you can't see the horizon, so you don't see it lightning as much, but it's always there. Clouds get big and fluffy at the top and smaller and paler as they recede away into the distance at the bottom. When mixing your colours, you can do it the old fashioned way, cutting out a bit of paper and finding a photo and matching it exactly. Or you can do exactly the same, but go down to your local DIY store and they'll mix it for you. Now backdrops are normally quite large, so you want to crack out latex remulsion paint, something that can cover large areas. I've got my colour mixed blue and then I use white emulsion to add the gradient. Spraying this would give a lovely even gradient, but I don't have a sprayer that will do this size. So I just do it on the face. The only problem is the latex paint does dry darker. You will need a second coat because you can see how much lighter the blue is when it goes on. It makes this hard to do the first time around. But by the time you've got your eye in, you'll be a lot better. It's just a case of repeating it, making sure you have a nice even gradient and you can't see any of those brush strokes. If you find your paint is drying too quickly, you can thin it, but I always end up with a full brush of the final dark blue as the last coat. Now I am no artist, and I generally, for all my dioramas, prefer a plain backdrop, but I did clouds on my layout, and I thought I would show you how I painted them. I'm probably mad. So first of all, I mock in the clouds, just with a rough amount of white, and this is just emulsion I'm using. I'm not using anything fancy with a little bit of artist acrylics just to make it gray. That's Payne's gray and neutral gray in there. Once I have my lights, which is white and my darks, which is this gray, I just splodge around following the photo. I do very artful splodging following the photo until I have more or less what I want. If I need the clouds to recede a bit, I add some of the background sky blue in there. And then they get smaller, as I said, down to the horizon until finally I'm done. Now, if that seems a little daunting, don't worry. There's an easier way. You can cut a stencil like on my brother scan and cut. And I will have the patterns for sale on my website. And then instead of trying to do all that blue grading, use a spray can of white spray paint. Put your stencil there, the big sheet at the top to stop overspray and just spray along the edge. Voila! a ready-made cloud. Very, very simple to do. And you just need to repeat it further and further up the sheet until you fill your sheet. It's worth going upwards so then you're not working on wet paint. And here's that simple diorama with those clouds in. Hmm, make your own mind up. I do think I prefer the plain one. 
I do like grey sky backgrounds though. So here is my Port de Nord micro layout and it's drizzly so I've got white and grey in diagonal lines. Very simple. And this is my first layout. Very grey and actually one of my favourites. So here we go. Finished. Probably not the best clouds ever painted but they did take me under half an hour. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, hit the bell button, consider supporting me on Patreon or check out my website. This is now my full-time job, so that support is even more important than ever. Otherwise, see you next time.